Welcome everyone. My name is Lynn Schusler Williams, a speaker, coach, and author out of Louisville, Kentucky. It's my great pleasure to be your host for our Success Partners International Wednesday Training Zoom. It's my great pleasure to start us off with our signature message for Success Partners. And each and every person on this line can say, I am part of a growing team of entrepreneurs with a shared mission to connect 2 million new families and small businesses, I should have said, to protect and empower 2 million families and small businesses with Legal Shield's network of law firms and world-class identity theft services. What we do matters, and we are looking for help. And with that, I get to go out to a gentleman who I appreciate so much. He's a mentor. He's a serial entrepreneur and author, an amazing coach, both on and off the tennis court. He's someone I'm extremely grateful to call friend, Mr. Timmer Halligan. The call is yours. Well, thank you so much, Lynn. Truly appreciate your kind words and you know all that you do for, for our team. I mean, it, it's unbelievable when you think about all of the things uh, and all of the resources that we have, like Miss Lynn Schuster williams like Mr. John Drennan, like Miss Lee Perry and Annette Zobar and Miranda Chisholm and Stephen Linda Beck. I'm thinking of all the people that contribute you know, to our calls, to our events that, that really allow us to be able to, to really go out here and put on you know, these incredible events, these incredible Zooms, the incredible calls that we get. You know, when I listen to our calls, all I can think about is how great our calls sound versus the majority of folks that are out there. And so thank you so much, Lynn. Appreciate all that you do uh, for us and congratulations on all your success. You know, Lynn's a, a speaker, a coach, an author. She's the author of a book called, <clears throat> excuse me, Nine Little Words uh, to Change Your Results. And it sits in my car every single day. When I have 10 minutes to read, it's the first thing I always grab because it's such a great book to be able to read. So I appreciate you, Lynn, and welcome everybody. You know, tonight is our Wednesday night team training call, and I'm excited for tonight's call. We're going to talk about in the second half of tonight's call, you know, how to better utilize social media uh, to be able to grow your business. And I think that is super, super important for all of us uh, to be able to understand is what are the do's, what are the don'ts, what are the things that we should be trying to do because it's an incredible medium. But the first part of our call tonight is for the brand new associates. So we're just going to have a conversation for a second on, you know, number one, the decision that you made. You've made a great decision to join a great company. I was sitting down with a uh, financial planner today and I was sharing with him some of the stats on our company and some of the things that you know, we are part of. You know, when, when you get to understand that we are 46 years old, when you understand that we used to be publicly traded on the New York Stock Exchange and then in 2011, we were acquired by a private equity firm that spent $651 million for our company. They held on to you know, the full majority of our company until about three years ago. And another private equity firm came in and put a billion dollars into our company. And you know, the millions and millions and millions of dollars put into the branding and the technology and you know, really setting us apart. I mean, we have the opportunity to be a you know, Fortune 100 company but the ability to build and work with this incredible service that we have from home on a part-time basis. Where do you find that in corporate America where you've got all of the resources that are there, but the flexibility and the earning potential equal to, if not greater than any job that's out there. And so you've made a great decision to be with an incredible company here in Legal Shield. And we're going to talk tonight a little bit about what it is that you want to do when you first get started with Legal Shield. And we're going to talk for just a second and I'm going to show you a couple places that you can go to, to to make the process easier. But, you know, here's the thing. Number one, you joined Legal Shield. You have the Legal Shield membership. Congratulations. You want to use the membership. You want to use the membership. You want to get on the phone with your law firm. You want to ask them some questions. Um, you want to start getting your will prepared. By now, you should have the Legal Shield app downloaded on your phone. You should be able to log into it by now. If you've got any issues, work with your sponsor, call up Legal Shield. They'll help walk you through to make sure everything is set up exactly like it should be. So you have that opportunity uh, to, to get that set up. 
Start getting your will prepared. Start filling out that will preparation document. When you open up the app on your phone, you'll see where it says, you know, start a legal document. Click on it, you'll see your will. Start, don't procrastinate, don't wait. This is National uh, Get Your Will Done Month, August, so you absolutely wanna make sure that you're part of that because you wanna be talking about that, you know, with your potential members, and we'll go through that a little bit more when we get to the second part of our call. Uh, you wanna make sure that you have got your ID Shield membership set up. You know, listen, if you're an, an associate with us, you should have both. Why? Because you're gonna talk about both. You need to know how to set up the ID Shield. You need to make sure that app is downloaded and uh, you know, follow the steps uh, to go ahead and get it set up. If you have any issues, again, work with your sponsor, but you wanna kinda work through those things first. You wanna know how to, when somebody joins, you wanna know where to send them and what they need to do. And those are things that everyone is capable of doing when they first start. You may not be able to you know, share the entire Legal Shield presentation, but you absolutely can learn how to you know, download the apps and, and be able to help people get themselves set up, especially if you do it yourself. So you've got the apps downloaded, you've got your membership set up, you've got your monitoring set up on your ID shield, and now let's get to work. You know, that part gets you set up. Now, what do we wanna do? We wanna help you fast start qualify. What does that mean? That means we want you to launch your business. We want it to take off quick for you because there's some incentives that are out there for you to go from, you know, the senior, excuse me, the associate level as a brand new associate to the senior associate level. And you wanna get that done in the first 20 days and there's two ways to do that. Number one, market $60 worth of premium, which is really, you know, premium is this, whatever membership you sell, if it's a $24.95 legal plan, you're gonna get 25 premium dollars. They round it up for you. You wanna get to 60 premium dollars. I mean, literally you could, you know, market a family plan, Legal Shield, ID Shield, that's 50 premium dollars right there. Maybe that person has a home-based business. They pick up the home-based rider. That's $60 worth of premium, and they see the value of becoming an associate. They do it all with one fell swoop, and uh, you've been fast start qualified. You now are eligible for, the, for a $300 bonus, you know, as well as when you go to the, uh, you know, the fast start qualifying class. That brings that $300 together. That's incredible. Or go out there and market $180 you know, worth of premium, $180 worth of memberships. That's, you know, four family plans and you're all taken care of. So four family plans and you're all taken care of when it comes to, you know, going ahead, four combo family plans, getting yourself fast start qualified. You then get yourself uh, to the class and you pick up a $300 bonus. And then we're going to work towards that next promotion, which is, you know, going to the, um, you know, the manager level. So we're gonna to look to then go to that manager level. So we're gonna go ahead real quick, guys, and I wanna just kind of walk you through, you know, our team's website here. Because the team website, what's key about this is it shows you where all these different things are that I just talked about. So you're gonna come in this business, you know, you know what it is that you need to do. You're going to uh, use your membership. You're gonna download your apps. We're gonna make sure you know where everything is and then we're gonna to get to work. And what we're gonna do in getting to work is that we are going to work on creating your list. Who are the people that you want to get information out to that you want to know about what Legal Shield does? And so we're gonna create that list. And the first thing you're gonna do is come over to our team website. This is begintheascent.com. We've made it super easy here for everything that you want to do. This takes you right to our Facebook page. And this is where we keep track of, you know, what's going on and let people know what's happening and communicate with the entire team and talk about people that are joining the team and getting people promoted. And so you want to go there, make sure you join that page. Uh, you're also going to find that this team training is going to be located over on our YouTube channel. So this will be uploaded tomorrow or so to YouTube. So you can go back and watch it. We got some great, great trainings uh, that are on that YouTube channel. Uh, to log into your back office, you go right here. You log this in, this is where you go to kind of find out what's happening in your business. But more and more, here's what I'm seeing guys, because everything is starting to be transferred. This is primarily your back office. This is LS Engage. When you click on that, you use the same login that you would to get into your back office, into your Legal Shield app, and it's gonna show you how to run your business. It's got reports in there. It's got resources in there. You can print out flyers in there, but you wanna have a general idea where that is. and. This link right here is gonna take you over to our, our team leaders. You know, we're part of a, an incredible organization here uh, with Legal Shield called Shield Nation. 
one of the preeminent organizations in all of Legal Shield. You know, this organization is led by John and Darcy Hoffman, uh, $800,000 income earners with Legal Shield. Uh, just tremendous, tremendous people, leaders. And, and they are servant leaders. So you want to definitely go over and check that out. But let's get Fast Start Qualified first. So we go over to this Getting Started page. We go here, we click on this, and it says, okay, this is what I need to do to Fast Start Qualified as Senior Associates in 20 days or less and receive a $200 bonus. Remember, right now it's $300 you know, through the end of August. So any brand new associate that Fast Start Qualifies, it's worth a $300 bonus once they attend the Fast Start Qualifying class. And it just walks you through. You know, we talk about things being as easy as one, two, three. Here it's as easy as one, two, three, four, five. This tells you right now about what you need to do to fast start qualify, which is again, enroll $60 in premium, recruit one associate, or enroll $180 worth of premium. It says right here, download these apps for your phone. This is the LS Engage. Now you can also go to it from your desktop. That's where you could select it from, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the website, the Begin the Ascent website or you can also get to the app from there as well, but download the LS Engage as well as Prospect by Legal Shield. Now what Prospect by Legal Shield is, this is our marketing arm of Legal Shield. Inside of Prospect by Legal Shield is all of the resources that you need to send out to people to be able to grow and to build your business from videos to PDFs. If you wanna send it out as an email, you can do that. If you wanna text people information, you can do that. If you wanna put it on social media, you can do that. Go back to our uh, team website, go to our YouTube channel and check out the, the training we did over the last couple of weeks on using Prospect by Legal Shield. You know, just download the first steps. This is important. I think this document everyone should look at and just walks you through. You just check it off. Step one, get started. Bam, enroll as a member, enroll as an associate. I'm done. Step two, get connected, use your membership. Get ready to log in to, to enroll your members. This is your login. So for example, mine is T Halligan. That's what I use to log into Legal Shield. So my website is thhalligan.wearelegalshield.com or you know, log in to the, you know, uh, to the Ladies of Justice site. Ladies, I encourage you. It's an incredible, incredible movement you know, that Legal Shield has put together for women, being led by those, some of the most powerful women in our company, bringing people together. And so your login name would be whatever your login name is, dot ladies of justice. Dot com. You know, we talked about downloading the apps, joining the Facebook groups, use your member perks. That's also on your Legal Shield app. It's a, when you go to your Legal Shield app, you look in the lower right hand corner and you see the little, the little star thing that says, you know, like settings, click on that. When it opens up, you'll actually see the, um, you know, the uh, member perks. And that's where you save money on everything from hotels, you know, to rental cars, to movie tickets, to car insurance, you name it, you save. Third and most important step, I believe, or one of the most important is, who are we gonna to talk to? So you're gonna make a list and you're gonna write that list down on a piece of paper. You're gonna work with your sponsor. You're gonna add it. You'll find a memory jogger list in those one, two, three, four, five steps. It's gonna show you some things that'll make you think a little bit. Plus, on our team website on the Getting Started page, you'll see an incredible video from our leader, Mr. John Drennan, head of Success Partners International, 20 plus years in this company, you know, made millions of dollars with our company. He does an incredible video on how to create a list. It's about five minutes long, but it's worth tens of thousands of dollars. And once you get your list organized, we're now going to invite people to look at information. How are we gonna invite them? Well, we're gonna work on helping you with the invitation. What are we gonna invite them to? We're gonna send them over a video maybe from, uh, you know, from the Prospect by Legal Shield and ask them to look at it. We're gonna work on gathering people together right away. That's the one to me, one of the most, uh, you know, the, the, that's the, that's the um, fire to this business. When you got people together and you can do that in a variety of ways, you can invite them to a Zoom like this right now. All of your friends, your family, and somebody will do a presentation with you and for you. You may uh, be invite some people over to your house. You'll hear people talk about a private business reception or a PBR. What that means is that you gather people maybe at your house or at your place of work or maybe at a Panera or you gather four or five people for lunch and we bring them together and somebody's going to go ahead and do that presentation right there. Or you may play a video right there for everyone. Maybe you'll go sit down with yourself and your sponsor and one more person. There's so many different ways. There's live events that you can find at LegalShieldCalendar.com where people can go to. And this, this next step, number six, guys, to me is one of the most important steps. When you first start this business, you are brand new, 
and your prospects know you for what you do currently. Getting them to watch the video, absolutely. When it comes to the conversation, do it with a sponsor, part of your support team, so that somebody who's an expert can answer the questions, move them forward, and they're gonna help you to fast start qualify. So again, $60 worth of premium, add one brand new associate, get it done in the first 20 days, right now through the end of August, and this is why we should be going hard and fast to let people know it's a $300 bonus for the new associate, and it's a $300 bonus for the person who helps them fast start qualify, you as the sponsor, then move on to get the, uh, the manager position, get paid another $200 uh, for getting that done, and that's what we do, guys, to uh, fast start qualify. And so now, you know, what we're gonna do is, is take just a second, and we're going to um, talk about a subject that we talked a little bit today on our morning stretch call. So we're gonna talk about the power of the digital world. Wow. So let's talk about the power of the digital world. Listen, the internet, social media, all the outlets that are there. When I looked at these numbers, and this is from 2018, that said, you know, the total population of the world is 7.5 billion people. The number of folks that utilize the internet, 4 billion of those people, 53%. You're thinking that people in countries maybe don't have it. They do. And when you think about where we are in the United States, Canada, and where we are over in you know, England, I guarantee that number is a lot higher as far as penetration. Active social media users, 3 billion. Mobile unique users, okay, folks that are using their mobile phones to, to be able to get around and move around and do things, 5 billion. And active mobile social users, using the variety of different social medias that are out there, about 3 billion. So look at those numbers right there. And, and, and tell me that, you know, Learning more about how to utilize the technology that's out there to help us educate people, you know, in regard to what it is that we do. And there's a right way and there's a wrong way uh, to go about doing that. You take a look again here, you know, this power of the digital world. This is what's happening in an internet minute. One million people a minute are logging into Facebook. 18.1 million texts are being sent. 4.5 million YouTube videos a minute, 390,000 apps a second, 350,000 people going through Instagram, 87,000 people tweeting, 1.4 million swipes on Tinder a second or a minute, are you kidding me? 188 million emails are sent, 1 million views on Twitch, 41 music streaming subscriptions, 180 smart speakers are being shipped per minute from Amazon. 4.8 million Giphys, those are those little things that you know make funny faces and stuff like that when you're sending people messages. 41 million messages sent a minute. 2.1 million snaps created. You know, that's that Snapchat. My kids, that's the way they communicate even their homework. $996 million, $996,000 spent a minute online. 695,000 hours, 94,000 hours of Netflix. 3.8 million people are searching on Google and Google. And how does this all kind of come together? Well, they all kind of blend as I'm reading through this together. I'm just thinking about how they all kind of intertwine themselves. And I'm asking myself, you know, of the things that I could own a little bit of real estate on, which ones do I? You know, every medium isn't for every single person. You know, what's interesting on, on this right here uh, is they don't talk about LinkedIn, which I use LinkedIn a lot. And I can guarantee they got significant, significant numbers that are there. But when you look at the power of the digital world and what happens in one minute, this absolutely needs to be something that we're paying attention to. So let's just talk about some general social media stats. 48% of Americans have networked with brands on at least one social media site. 48%, half of the entire country. That's right up there with the Equifax breach, guys, which you can use social media to tell people about a little bit. 
with this figure representing half the American population, it's not, it's not to see why the social media scene has intrigued marketers. 90% of marketers have confessed to the fact that social media has played a massive role in helping enhance their business exposure. 75% of this same crowd point to social media as being the reason for increased traffic. You know, there's a, a gentleman who's, um, you know, comes to, uh, participates a lot in our organization, Patrice, out of Canada. The gentleman has built 100% of his good business. I mean, good, staying on the books business through social media. His family, his dad has been super, super sick, sick, you know, over the last couple of years. I mean, you know, into their 90s, I believe. You know, he could be watching today. So, Patrice, always appreciate all you do. And he also helps to put together graphics that Legal Shield approves. But um, his entire business built on social media, using it the right way. And so those were powerful statistics. You know, the, when you take a look at Facebook, the average Facebook user has 155 friends. It may vary from, from individual to individual, but you know, it, it's got this communal outlook. A study at Oxford has shown that despite the bloated numbers, the best way to maintain close context is via face-to-face. -face. We're gonna talk about that. You know, the, the studies show that having many friends is ideal for social media marketing, but bad for maintaining steady relationship. We're going to talk about how do you take somebody from the social media side of things into, you know, building relationship. Small businesses are responsible for about 140 million Facebook pages. I do encourage every single person here has a Legal Shield page. There's a variety of, of good reasons to have a Legal Shield independent associate page from a business perspective. Number one, I, again, I'll go back to Patrice. He, he exclusively uses that page. He's able to build a huge audience and um, he's able to do all kinds of things differently that I can't. That's what he uses for when he's out there talking. Facebook stats, you know, show that about 87% of people, um, 18 to 29, actively engage in Facebook. But we also realize a lot of people are going to quit that network in the new upcoming years. But it's a growing place, you know, for folks. You know, I'm 51. I'll be 51 this week. And that's where I see a lot of people that I know. That's just where we are. It's easy for people to get into, um, you know, so... You know, that's important. A significant portion of the world's population, 22% use Facebook, right? But let's talk about the you know, Instagram. You know, a couple of things, you know, on Instagram, you know, and I try to get there and there's, there's ways that, you know, you can actually post on one, it goes to other. If I'm not mistaken, Instagram uh, was purchased by Facebook. And so you can set up, now I've got a business account set up with Instagram because then I'm able to track and I can see and analyze some of the stuff. If you got interest in learning, just go to Instagram and say, how do I convert my Instagram page into a business page, but I'll leave that up to you to look at. But here's some of the stats. Use at least one hashtag increases engagement. You know, when I post on Instagram, I have like stored over my notes, all the hashtags, about 15 of them. And I just put them in the bottom of it and hashtag all the different things that I want. I've already got it pre-written. I know what I'm going to hashtag. I don't need to think about it because I have it stored somewhere. So I paste that into whatever post I have. And this was good to see because, you know, it's good to see that that stuff works. So using at least one hashtag increases engagement by 12.6%, another handle increases engagement by 56%, and posts with the location, I learned this today, gains 79% more engagement. Over 300 million accounts use Instagram stories every day. You know, when you post, you know, on Instagram, it goes on your story. Images with faces tend to receive 38% more likes. Pizza is the most Instagram food ahead of sushi and steak. I mean, my kids take pictures of every single thing they eat. Are you kidding me? It's like we get to a place and they find me doing it. I'm like, let me get a picture of this meal. And it's just part of one of the ways that you engage. Social media is not all about your business. We're going to talk about some different things here in a minute. 26% of Instagram users make more than $75,000 per year. LinkedIn, this does have some stats. The professional so social networking company has notched about 500 million members. The impressive numbers are further enhanced by the fact that the company is well represented with users from 200 companies. You know, LinkedIn actively has about 10 million jobs listed for users to pursue through and in the job section. You know, I know that when you were at our summer blast, if you were there, Rocco Cilio had talked about how they're using LinkedIn to be able to do more effective recruiting with business professionals. LinkedIn, powerful. LinkedIn stats show that on average, the CEOs on this platform tend to have at least 930 LinkedIn connections. Do you know 
any CEOs. Now, again, you don't just start going and finding CEOs and sending them out stuff. You got to have some commonality. We're going to talk about some of those do's and don'ts in a couple minutes. When it comes to establishment, LinkedIn stats show that more than 3 million companies have LinkedIn accounts. Of all LinkedIn stats, the most surprising is the fact that the social network is the only one in the world where both males and females are equally represented. So let's talk about a couple of different posts here, right? You know, you always see that these are just a few things that I do. And so let's say like right here, the power of the digital world. Number one, it's about diversifying what you do. It's about diversifying what you do. So right now there, there was a networking group. You know, I had everybody pose today, just wave until I'm looking like we're having fun. Why do I want to do that post? Because I run the networking group. And even if I didn't run the networking group, I want people to see that this is a cool networking group. Why? Because every person that comes to that networking group, it's an easy thing to invite people to a networking group where they get to meet 10 or 15. And really I want to meet them. So I post things like this, you know, I'll see a whole bunch of likes. Thank you, Lynn Schuster Williams. You know, so 23, 24 people like that at the time when I, when I had you know, done this, you know, after just a couple hours, I then go through, I look at who the people are. You'll understand that why in a minute. The other one, so many people to help succeed today. I was sitting at Panera. I said, hey, let me just set my camera up. I put the little timer on and I saw a shot a photo. You know, 30 other people, one person shared it. I don't even know who shared it, but you know, in probably an hour and a half, you know, 30 people looked at it. And then the, the person that I don't know, I'm going to thank each of those 30 people. I'm going to go back through. If I know you, I'm probably not saying to you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But if I don't know you, I'm, I'm sending you a private message. I'm saying thanks so much for, you know, for, uh, you know, for, um, you know, liking my post today. I'm, I'm engaging with them. I truly, truly appreciate it because I may not know them. So tell me, where, where do you make your home? Or, hey, listen, what do you got going on? Or, hey, how's your day going today? The next one was a, um, you know, just a, a Facebook live video that I put together that had a couple hundred views on it, you know, 34 different comments. That one I did talking about finding your purpose. So I, I, I kind of divert, none of those three things, those posts say anything about Legal Shield. You know, then I, I take a look at, you know, Lynn had a couple here, which I thought were awesome. You know, to, this one I actually posted too the other day, celebrating making a difference for 47 years. You know, that just gets people some credibility about what we do. You know, she's not looking to sell Legal Shield from there. In fact, I'm going to talk about that in a minute. I had a gentleman today. He did an amazing presentation on uh, social media, and it was really fantastic. I'm looking to have him on here in a couple of weeks. But he really got me to think about today, and I've heard it on so many different occasions, the difference between marketing and advertising. They're different. I mean, it's different. I mean, you, you, marketing is done for one reason. This is marketing right here. This is branding right here. You know, so for example, Lynn saying, you know, Legal Shield celebrated 47 years. You know, she's saying here, hey, if you have a college student in the family, imagine yourself in my shoes. College daughter, six hours away from home, asthma attack, the kind you can't breathe. First one in a year. I mean, she's getting people to read this. People want to engage in that post. You know, parents, do you have your health care power of attorney? That's a big deal. Because if they don't have a power of attorney, guess what? If something happens, you can't do anything about it. I love the next post as much as I love any post. Lynn's promoting another company. She's promoting that, you know, they, they may be Legal Shield members and, 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 you know, she's out there promoting what they do. She may go there herself and she's promoting you. I mean, that, that to me is the most powerful post that you can have out there. So you take a look, a little bit of Legal Shield, a little bit of Legal Shield, not much. Now, here's some Legal Shield stuff that I do. You know, it, it is August is National Make a Will Month. That is a, a, a document that, or a picture that Patrice put together. He sent it into Legal Shield. It's approved. You know, and I just put getting your will prepared should not be something you put off and Legal Shield makes it easy and free. A part of what we do as a member of Legal Shield, download the meeting. That's branding. I sprinkle it in with all of the tennis stuff I post. You know, I, I mean, people know I work with Legal Shield. It's not like that's a mystery. You know, the next one is colleges filled with all kinds of challenges. Don't let a legal situation be one of them. Reviewing their leases, getting their security deposits back. Parents are like, ah, I had actually my, my daughter, my, uh, my daughter's um, orthodontist, I went into his office the other day. She was getting her stuff. He said, that post was awesome. That got me to think a little bit. We need to sit down and, and talk. I didn't realize Clarence is screwing around over here, but he does. People are looking. This other one is just a little short Legal Shield video, you know, that talks about the will preparation. The video may be funny, but not having your will prepared isn't. Message me and I can help you. You know, 215 views. 
There's a couple others right here. These to me go back to what Lynn was, was doing in one of her posts. You know, this lady on the left here, this is a, a former Dean of Law from John Marshall Law School. She was one of Chicago's 100 most powerful women. She left the legal profession uh, because she couldn't serve the masses. Believe it or not, she works in employee benefits. She's a Legal Shield associate and she's in my BNI group. So she was talking about, you know, um, AFLAC with what she does and I promote her. The guy right next to that, Tim Lorzell, he's been a client of mine for probably 12 years. He's got the small business plan. He's got the personal plan. Uh, he's got the ID shield. He just bought the ID shield for both of his 19 year old sons. Why wouldn't I promote what he's got? He's great at what he does. Then another buddy of mine, Joe, who's one of the best mortgage, biggest mortgage guys in the area. You know, he's talking about, this is one of his posts. This guy's getting two to three leads a day every day from engaging in social media and doing a little bit of video work and letting people see what he does this right here the power of the digital world you're really looking at a couple different things you know those couple different things that you are looking at is number one is who is your audience those are your friends what's the content that you're putting out there your content wants to be diversified you know i mean it's not all about legal shield and you don't want anything to be all about legal shield you don't want to be promoting. I mean, I've literally seen guys, I mean, I, I, I kid you not, people's pages that every single post that they have has got legal shield on. I mean, every single post, it's like, what are you doing? Number one, it's not going to work. You're not going to brand yourself well. You're, you're not, you'll probably get a call from the home office because they don't want you out there doing the wrong stuff. You know, but your content is king and queen. And so it, it's, if I'm doing three or four posts a day, two or three of them are going to be personal development, trying to motivate, maybe a picture of my family. And I'm going to drop a legal shield thing in there. Why? Because that's branding. People look what Timmer Halligan's posting. And if they catch the brand, that's what I want. The other stuff is part of the capturing, getting people. You know, yeah, I absolutely am about personal development. I love finding the cool quotes. You know, but here's what I know. I'll get 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 likes on a birthday or a picture, I'll get five on a legal shield, but the five was still seen by him. It was seen by a lot more than five. You know, the brand is everything. We all have these same, the resources that we can, that we use. We have time, attention, and energy, and they lead to the dollars. The amount of time we put in, if we're going to do some social media, the attention we put into it, the energy we put in, and then the analyzation of it is super important. You know, one of the things that this gentleman said today is that, Marketing attracts, that's its job. It won't make the sale. Like, you know, he charges 400 bucks a month, 500 bucks a month. He brings people, you know, to their pages, you know, gets them, but he says, listen, my job is to attract. You know, if it was as easy as, hey, spend $400 at me and, and you'll make 2000, everyone would do that. In fact, we probably raise the rates. You still have to make the sale. You still have to engage with people. You still have to, build relationships. You know, the fortune is still in the follow-up. You know, I think about, you know, from my, one of my social media posts, you know, Kimberly Trimmel, who joined the business a couple months ago, doing amazing things. She's reached the manager position. You know, she came across something. Somehow we had connected on social media. We chatted back and forth. She had a busy schedule. You know, she works in real estate and we had talked about getting together at a networking group and I invited her to you know, come out to the Super Saturday and she got the opportunity to meet Jeff Bell. She came on board, you know, she's been to our summer blast. I mean, she, it, it's, you know, that's, that's like the, the perfect scenario, but everything doesn't always work that way, but you can always build the relationship. See, I'm not going to just all of a sudden when someone comes and starts talking to me, assume that until I build this relationship that I'm going to start talking about the membership and selling the membership and trying to recruit people. My, my goal really is to let Kim know I'm a good person and I'd like to invite her out to meet some people. And she came out to the event and she, she met a gentleman named Keith, who's part of her team. And, you know, she met a gentleman that, um, you know, uh, she met Annette Zobar out there and, you know, she got the opportunity to meet Jeff Bell and, you know, got to see what we're all about. And, and so I'm still following up. If I meet somebody on social media, now when somebody engages, you know, the number one thing is we're looking for the reach. How far can we get out? And then we're looking for the people that engage. <clears throat> you absolutely should be trying to build your engagement. You know, for me, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I look to build with people who are clients of mine or good friends of mine. 
I'm looking for their friends, people that they've got common friends with, and I'm shooting them a message. I'm, I'm, I'm inviting them to like me. And when they do, I'm thanking them for it. It's like, hey, thank you so much for accepting my friend request. I noticed that you and Joe are great friend, or, or friends on Facebook. I see we've got a lot of common friends together. I just want to introduce myself. Joe's been a great friend and client of mine for years. He's like, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I've known Joe for a while. You know, he's, and so I'm just, I'm, I'm just, you know, typing back and forth. I'm messaging back and forth for a little bit with that person, building that relationship with that person. I'm not, as soon as they say hi, this is what I'm not doing. I ain't talking about money. And I'm not sending spammy looking messages. This is what I mean. I'm not just going, hey, yeah, I know you. By the way, and all of a sudden it's generic. Hi, my name is Jimmer Halligan with Legal Shield, and we've been providing legal services for families for the last 46 years. Please click this video. I love it. Blah, 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 blah. That's stupid. Who's going to fall? I mean, come on, guys. That doesn't work. But I'm going to chat with them for a little bit. I'm going to go back and forth with them for a little bit. I'm going to find out what they do for a living for a little bit. I'm going to find out anything I can, but I'm not going to talk anything about Legal Shield until they ask. Because they're going to ask. You know, when I say Joe's been a friend of mine and client of mine for years, well, they're going to say, what do you do? If I'm sounding good about them, oh, that's great. You work in landscaping? You know, hey, listen, you know what? I, got, I work with a lot of landscapers, you know, to tell me what kind of land. So I, notice how I throw in, I work with a lot of landscapers. What's he probably going to ask? What is it that you do? Well, I do work with a lot of landscapers because a lot of them have our small business plan. Don't tag people on social media without their permission. Don't just start. You want to put a post out there. Don't tag all your friends. It's going to make them mad. Don't do that. You know, they'll come on there and they'll talk. Don't do it. And don't just copy and paste other people's posts, right? You can't just take somebody's exact words. Facebook is smart. I'm not even getting into the smartness they have, but when they see a copy and paste, it's like plagiarizing. They see that. They're not going to engage with that. So change it around. Notice Lynn and I talked about college, but we had two totally, totally different posts. And so, you know, that's what I wanted to talk about tonight. And, you know, I did want to go out to uh, Miss Lynn Schuster williams Lynn, and see if you've got, you know, a few comments you'd like to make. Because we're going to continue to talk about, you know, how to better engage, how to get, you know, more involved in being able to use what's out there as a medium that will help promote us and promote your business. So, Lynn, any comments? Absolutely. What a great presentation, Timur. I've got so many notes. Uh, and I just want to, you know, reiterate one or two things and bring home for people. This is not new, right? The fundamental principles that ought to govern your behavior on social media are the same principles that govern our behavior offline, right? When you're networking, you don't go out and just talk and be spammy and, you know, you don't walk into a networking event and just hand everybody there your card, right? Nobody likes that person. <laughs> and so it's the same idea on social media, right? When you're interacting with people, you want to ask about them. You know, I always tell my sales coaching clients that the fundamental principle of good networking is be generous. And so be generous. As you were saying, you know, post things about your clients and your members and their businesses. Post things about the businesses of people in your networking groups. Um, just be seen as a generous interactor on social media and it'll take you so far. And uh, I love what you said, Timur, about um, not making every post about Legal Shield. Um, I, you know, I ought to look someday if I cared about numbers, I really would. I would figure out what percentage, but I, I think it's a pretty small percentage. It's like maybe 10 or 15% of the posts ought to have Legal Shield. I think of it as every now and then I'm going to post something about Legal Shield just so my people still know that's what I do. And so uh, just so excited about the idea that social media is here to help us grow and change our businesses. And you have to show up to it, just like you have to show up offline. You have to show up online. You know, you can have great things to say on social media, but if you don't show up to your social media platforms, if you aren't engaging with other people's posts, if you aren't participating and posting, then you aren't there. You know, I was on LinkedIn today and I had a new connection there and I wanted to 
see what he had been posting and he hadn't been posting anything. He just basically had a digital resume on there. And so, you know, it's just important for us to um, participate to, you know, success begins with showing up as Mr. Drennan has always taught us and the same goes online as well as offline. And, and then eventually you got to remember that it's all about taking the conversation offline as well. Right. So have a phone call with someone after you've connected with them. And um, so Timur, thank you for a great, great uh, training tonight. Just so important, so powerful. Appreciate you so much. And I'll hand it back over to you. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Lynn. Truly appreciate uh, your comments. And, you know, Lynn said something you know, that I thought was, uh, you know, quite interesting. And I wrote this down. She said, you know, you take it offline. Think about this for a second. We know that 50% of marriages, okay, come from an online dating site. That's what they're saying today, 50%. Now, you take those offline. You know, you don't get married online and stay online and do your wedding vows online. You take it offline. So I think they've done an incredible job about getting people together, and so, you know, you, you definitely want to take a look at when you're, when I'm going out and I'm looking at stuff, I am also looking at people, you know, with where they live. I mean, it, it, it's an analysis and I'm selecting the friends and the people I'm looking for that are already part of the network of people that I know, like, and trust. And I'm also, guys, listen, you just got to treat your friends' friends professionally. This is so important because I would never do anything ever to compromise, you know, what my friends and his business and everything else, I'll introduce and I can promise you every friend that I have will be like, hey, Timber's a good guy to know. But don't be that person that's trying to go in and cannibalize your friends and friends of friends and everything else. That won't work. So we're going to continue to talk more and more about this. Uh, Lynn, I appreciate you jumping on and helping and everybody who's joined us tonight. Everybody have a fantastic evening and bye-bye for now.